hi everyone and welcome back again to my channel today we're going to be looking at another remote control device using hacker world easy switch two weeks ago we looked at similar devices using a remote xy and then last week we looked at it using remote me.org this week we're going to look at a very simple design using hacker world easy switch all right without further ado let's get right into it So what you need to do is to go to the Play Store and download this application Hacker World Easy Switch and just install it. After installation, you'll be asked to select an IP address. Either you select default or you configure one for yourself. All right. So let's just look at the application. Um, right here we have the application downloaded already on the smartphone. So you open the application. Um, it will ask you if it's the first time you're you're installing it to configure or to accept the default IP. If you're past that page, you can come back anytime. Select the default. Our default IP happens to be 192.168.1.23, and but this will not control our LED because we are operating on a different server. So to find the right server, just go and configure and enter this 192.168.0. You, you want the last two characters right there. For us to find what that is, you go to your Arduino IDE and you want to open you want to open the serial monitor of your Arduino IDE. So when I open the serial monitor, I can scroll through this and find out which server I'm connected to, or I can just reinstall the application, re-upload the sketch, right? I already uploaded the sketch, but let me just re-upload the sketch. It takes just a few seconds to upload. Right, the sketch is done and then the upload is happening right now all right the upload is done so we're going to open the serial monitor when you open your serial monitor you might not see mine on the screen right now but when you open the serial monitor you will see your server is successful and connected and it will give you the ip address for mine it is 22 the last two is 22 so you want to enter that and then you hit on set IP address. Once you set that, it will take you to this page where you can now control your your light from. So I'm gonna turn it on. All right. The first time it was the phone was just connecting to the server. All right. So right there you have it. Um, I want to show you a few things on the admin IDE. So you can understand what we did here. Um, the, the Arduino IDE requires you to select the LED pin. We've selected the general purpose um, JPIO pin 2 as our LED, which, is, which corresponds to D2. That's where we connect our LED. Actually, it, in this case, we also have a relay connected to it. So not only does it control the LED on board, um, but it also the relay out the relay input signal all right that's one thing another thing you can notice in this id this time around is we have a special um connection here or configuration if you will we're using the wi-fi manager to actually connect the wi-fi we didn't have to um connect it manually this time around it was connected automatically so you can use this uh, to connect automatically you can also uncomment this to reset what you had before and then you have to connect it one more time so why don't i just uncomment this and we can install it one more time so we can show how that works uh, while that is being done i'll show you how the relay functions so this relay has three terminals on one side and three on the other side on this side you have the switch in the middle on the left hand side if you're holding it where I'm holding it, on the left hand side you have the normally open contact, on the right hand side you normally close contact. We chose to use the normally 
open contact for this configuration but you might choose the normally close depending on what you want to build on the other side of the relay you have another three terminals the, the first one to the right if you're holding it again this way the first one is the I'm going to turn off the LED but the first one here is the um, ground the middle pin is the voltage or the positive signal the 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 other pin to the left is the signal this pin is what you want to connect to the corresponding um, um, GPIO pin right you want to connect this to your corresponding GPIO pin this relay is controlled by a transistor, number transistor there is also a diode to protect the transistor from inductive kickback we can talk about this in another video all right so we have the configuration right there this is our node mcu or esp8266 uh, you can do this with, with all kinds of uh, esp based uh, microcontrollers right so right now let's go back to our code we have disconnected the previously connected um internet now to for us to get this back what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go on uh on my Wi-Fi so let's do it on this phone so I'm gonna go on my Wi-Fi and I'm gonna look for for easy switch what we call it my easy switch I'm gonna look for my easy switch you can see my easy switch so I'm gonna connect to my easy switch and um, once it's connected it will take me to a captive portal there's no internet for sure. You're gonna take me to a captive portal to configure my home internet. So I'm gonna configure, I'm gonna choose my home internet from here, and I'm gonna enter the password. Once I enter my password, and then I'm gonna click on save, and right there, it will connect my ESP to my home internet whatever internet I selected it will connect me to it right this is so easy you don't have to write your code within your IDE you can connect after the fact now I'm just gonna go back and um, I can start controlling my device right? right so easy so you don't have to pre-program your internet um, your home router or your Wi-Fi to your IDE you can do that after the fact this is much much simplified we can do another video on that and explain everything in detail but right now this is all you need to do so I'm gonna put the entire code in the description of this video and again I want to thank you for for watching please subscribe and um, inform others about this if you have comments if you have um video ideas tutorial ideas you want us to to do i just put it in the comments i will be uh will be sure to get to it right um in the next week or there about maybe in a week or two we'll be doing another video on how to read and understand electronic circuits someone had asked us for, asked us for that and we started um a little bit but we want to go into a little bit more to explain how to read and understand electronic circuits all right, so expect that next video. Um, we might go live depending on the comments we get. We might do it live or we might do it recorded like this one. But again, thank you for watching and please always come back. And um, I will be glad to to welcome you back anytime you come back. All right. Yeah, I'm right from my garage and sometimes the Wi-Fi is iffy, but. You can control this LED from anywhere within your ne home network. You can control this bulb from anywhere within your home network. You can control other things. You can have multiple outputs, multiple relays, and control uh, so many more things. Um, we're going to build another application that will afford you the possibility of having multiple buttons. This is just a sample application for this. But we can have more an application that has uh, multiple buttons. And we're looking at making it also configurable so you can actually drag and drop your own buttons so that'll be a future project but for now uh, if you're interested in this application we can make a video tutorial on how to build this application um, depends on the feedback we get 
and from you guys we'll be taking the next actions all right for now thank you from hacker world and again please uh keep coming back subscribe i can't say this enough hit that notification button uh please hit that notification bell so when we post more videos you'll be one of the first to know all right i'm gonna sign up right here right now All right, bye-bye everyone. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. You can control this from the application, or you can control it through the web interface. All the codes are included in the description.